you will not if you are in the situation that i am be thinking of a uh, you want to go and buy a uh, igbo of this amount or you be telling me you want to buy car we have no eating hi yes they ask you question you answer the question and you shut up Hustling kid would have to start from the be from the barest of all bears minimum. You have to you have to start from the ground. What's your mini bear? I know. I still did my masters. I still did my PhD. Oh no, girl. Okay. And okay. I and I are rotting my. We don't we don't support violence. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs>Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Deep Talks, Thinkable Thoughts. I'm your host, Adoni, and with me is my lovely co-host, Valerie. Valerie, <laughs> no, it's what you to come here. <laughs> Valerie, how are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm are you ready fine. for today's conversation? Yes, I'm ready. Guys, today we'll be talking about privileged kids versus hustling kids. <sighs> I like how she let that sink in. <laughs> We needed that because yeah. it needs to sink in privileged kids, privileged kids versus yeah. hustling kids. What comes to your mind just from the topic itself? Privileged kids have, hustling kids have not. Oh. Yeah. So I feel like when people use the word privilege, it just means that you get, you you have, your are buoyant or you're rich. No, let me not use the word rich. We're not doing rich and poor, right? <laughs> We're not. We're but not, right? We can, well, we can always explain. Yeah. But, yeah we can explore but i feel like when people use the word privilege it just means that you have it maybe you have it either in abundance or you have it it's there and then when we say hustling i'm i'm inclined to think that we mean it's not there that's why i say have i have um, and, um, not i'm not yeah. okay i feel like privilege is i'll put it in a simple form of an advantage yeah and hustling is the one that like you have to constantly strive to be wherever it is that you are and the reason we're talking about today's topic because it's something that is very very important and it's something that i feel the need for us to explore because we have i will let put it will i say a segregation and i will let put it a segregation in the sense that there are kids that are hustling people with um their families that they're not well to do enough and we have people that that they come from will i say just wealth or people have like they have more advantage and these two class of people, there's always, there's always a clash. There's always a clash. And the clash is not always, I would like, it's necessary, like a physical type of clash. It's mm -hmm. almost like a mental and mental. You, you can't feel my pain. You don't know my pain. Or there's, you, there's always sizing going yes, on. Yes. And like one person feels, the hustling kids feel like they have a say than the privileged kids in the context of, you know so far you don't know yes aside you don't even suffer the kind of work that i have done to get where i am you have not done it yeah and it's very heavy and i feel like from the privilege case advantage is good advantage is really beautiful but i feel like they also feel the need because there's something in the atmosphere in the society as a whole that glorifies the hustling kids a little bit more because people resonate with nothing that that goes to something yeah. like a, a grass to grass grace, grace, than some someone that already has a structure in place that already has an advantage and there's nothing wrong with both the hustling kid and the privileged kid it's just like there has to be an understanding and respect from both angle first of all like i think we can use davido as an example the davido and whiskey the drama whiskey is i want to say it's coming from a poor but it's coming from a family that is also well to do but davido everybody already has the when you think of David, you think of money. Yeah. Immediately. It's something that he has already put the cognitive something. When you think David, you think Obio, 30 million, this and he also he has, also, billion he has also played a role in making it seem like yes, there is money here. When you think of let's say other artists or other people, you just that's their name. And people like David the one where they're like, they always still struggle because the society at large they would always want to like favor. The whiskey that you know he went to somewhere and already he did suffered. It. He did this. He did that. And it affects it affects like all of us in almost every sphere, from the from the bare minimum of education because people let's say you know we always write these exams before we get into the university. But you know people that are privileged they don't necessarily have to write an exam to you pass. You can never go to private schools. Yes, you just you just you just pay the to, fee. Um, government schools all had to write co common entrance. It's privilege about and. No, I don't think privilege is it, but as a matter of fact, I'll pick privilege any day, any time. 
Who likes to suffer? Who likes to struggle? Who likes to hustle? I don't know about you, but I feel like, yes, the world or our generation sees hustling as the ultimate. Hmm. Because have you noticed that a lot of people will be like, um, if you don't hustle for something, not be your own. Just that like, if you don't understand, you don't know the extent at which people went through. Oh, you will not thing. value it. it. was Yes, it was just handed down to you. Hmm. So don't talk to me when I'm talking about where I have come to today. Like the, I kind of like the grass them. to grace story. It sells. Yes. It's the only thing in this generation that people would want to resonate with because if you find i don't know i don't know there's this beef with people that are privileged there's this beef with people like the beef is like the... um um your your father had it like your father has money you're spending your father's money <laughs> what's supposed to whose be money spend? will i spend before like like your father could afford to or your father your mom your dad whatever mm -hmm. your family could afford to give you the basic things and then you're angry about it or you're furious about the fact that somebody had it easier than you did i think that thereby the... thereby making it look like people who hustle for it are the ones who know what they are doing so i pick privilege anytime any day i feel like the the animosity from the um, hustling kids it stems from a place where we know that privilege is good but you know when people with privilege just like misuse it i feel like it stems from that place a lot because then you see that you can't do this kind of thing because you know you have you have you have means you have an advantage you will not if you are in the situation that i am be thinking of a uh, you want to go and buy a uh, igbo of this amount or you be telling me you want to buy car we have no eating mm -hmm. you know i feel like it stems from that type of place because a lot of privileged kids with advantage the advantage comes it comes at, it comes with a cost to yes, have access does, to yeah. almost anything and everything and in the hands of children that don't have proper guidance or even young adults without even a proper guidance they would delve into things that they're not supposed to delve into and that's why you see the hustling kid almost like they're like you can never understand because truly they can't understand except maybe they have strict parents that also put them out there to try and be something for themselves privilege i feel like Oh, privileged children or privileged kids they also also yes but they also is not yes. just like the grass to grace story that we're saying it's not always going to be glorified as much as somebody that is starting from the beginning we we have a lot of um billionaires or even people that have their um, families or parents are well to do that have also found a path for themselves but people don't see that first you see the manifest yes you have to see the money first because, oh, yes. It's just like, um, is it Tim or Ted Dollar? She said, if I can do a something, something of, make a recording of how many days my Tim or Ted Dollar is who she is. A lot of people can see that, yes, she has gotten to so, so, so place. But that's also so place that she has gotten to. It doesn't remove the fact that she herself as a person yes. has also it's worked. in the work. And people don't see that work. They just, that's why they almost see it like, ah, this rich kids take yeah. that they want. A lot of privileged kids put in the work. And that's why I don't like the conversation between um, privileged kids and, and hustling kids and the old idea that springs from the fact that you had it easy. Most of they them... They do have it easy. They do have it easy. I, I don't think a lot of them have it easy. Valerie, you... There are a lot of... Okay, for example, let's use this. Let's use this David Do's case, for example. Davido is obviously a privileged kid, yes? But you can see him doing the work. Yes, with time he has been he has been he has been hard working. That's but what I'm saying. It doesn't take away so, the fact that he has I know easy. yes, I know it doesn't take away the fact that he had it easy, but at the same time. You know that somebody having it easy is not something that is also bad. I think it's something that's that we I'm have saying. To, like, yeah, let's yes. put it out there. Having having, having it's easy is not bad. Said, but you know the thing that's that I said I would choose privileged any day, any time. Nobody should want to suffer. Nobody, yeah, nobody should, should like suffer. No, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Some people with the idea that they hustled for something or they suffered for something gives them that give them an extra bragging right. Yes, it does. But at the end of the day, Valerie. If every single man being is placed in one place and asked, nobody actually wants to suffer. Yeah, nobody wants to nobody suffer. Nobody would like to suffer. That's what me I'm even trying to say. But like, they do have it easy. And the only thing that is annoying, I feel like maybe to the from the angle of the hustling kid, is the fact that you have it easy. 
be be full chestedly saying that you have it easy. Don't be cutting corners, corners. and saying I work this. The steps that it would take me to get to a jota will not be the same that a privileged kid will have to get to a jota because you can simply take a flight, but I might have to take five, six buses to get there. Yeah, I get your point. So, so they will brag because they they walk the, the walk. But it doesn't but take the fact that they are all walk. walk. The walk. Hey, you, you walk the walk with the plane. You flew there. It's <laughs> no. not a bad thing. It is no, not. It's not a bad thing. But you were seeing whole, it from the top. But I was on the ground. No, but the whole idea of there is this story that is supposed to sell before this one. I don't like it. Okay. Because everybody told me. Break it down. Work. Break it down. Okay. Grace to grass. Um, no, grass to grace story sells. Yes. It does sell. There is also grace to grace or grace to extra grace. Right? Yes. Okay. But for you to even move from one position to the other position, there must have been walking. Walking day. Like show walking. There is walking, right? Yes. So I feel like with the conversation of um, privileged kids and hustling kids, I just feel like there shouldn't be an. No- What's the word? I don't know the word. <laughs> There animosity. It shouldn't be animosity. There shouldn't be animosity. Yeah, or it should not be you... underlined, but or borderline. Valerie. Animosity. Because I hear people online say, and eh, this person had it easy. This person had it easy. Hey, but it's not just by choice or choice now. Your working and my working is not easy. Hey, this person had it easy. That person had it easy. So. Valerie is just like simple mathematics. If you can solve a fraction of one over two plus one over two, and you can do it in you your get head, the same answer. and yes, it's just as me. I might break it down, be doing a times this times yeah. this. The breaking it down is what a lot of hustling kids have to go to go through. Do you understand? So you are classifying yourself as hustling. I'm not classifying myself as a hustling kid, but I am a hustling kid. As we how are you hustling kid? I am hustling now. I'm a hustling kid because I he's easy. If he is a do I'm Valerie. I don't understand. You okay? You are classifying yourself as a privileged kid. No, not privileged, but when we're talking about hustling, at what point are are, are you hustling? Are like are you are you hustling kid? At what point? And do you need me to Is it because you're in the abroad? No, I this abroad that I am is coming with a price. You don't know. Well, I know it's coming with a it price. It came at a price, I'm, and oh, I am still paying the price. This question, I'm I am asking leaving the you, price. No, this question, I'm asking. I'm going somewhere, right? Yes, I am a hustling kid, full chestedly, not because of um whatever societal whatever blah blah blah. I am a hustling kid. Why I'm asking this question is what are we using to define at this point? Because in the beginning we said having advantage. Have advantage, advantage. Me, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm using I'm categorizing from a place of advantage. Advantage. Okay. Tell me. So I just but all of us, all of us right here now, that means all of us at this point were hustling kids. That's why I said even privileged kids are hustling. It's just yes. that the privileged kids that are hustling this was, this comes with I an wanted. advantage. Yeah, it see, comes with an advantage. Valerie, as a privileged kid, as a privileged kid, if I am going to go to the market, I could shop online and have it delivered. Yeah, but if you're hosting kids, you can shop online. I don't necessarily, I, I might not necessarily be able to do that. I'm just giving, I'm trying to yeah, make yeah, an I'll example that, yeah. that just kind of differentiates it. But like, as a privileged kid, how would I put it? What is the best example that I can use? Travel. You see, not even just travel. You see the way we're going about our day-to-day lives. A privileged kid probably has his or her parents sending them money. Mm-hmm. They don't have to, they don't necessarily have to do extra, yeah, one, extra yeah. work. But a, a hustling kid... You cannot wait. You have to walk or you will not chop. Um, Both of us are eating. But the level and the means in which we get this food on our table is different. Yeah. And that's why it's almost like, you see, when you work hard for something, I'm not saying privileged kids, you know. When you work hard, when I say hard work, hard work and smart work, they're not the same thing. But you see, privilege, we privilege and you have an advantage to even work smartly. Yeah. When you are hustling, you don't necessarily even have the means for the smartness to come into place necessarily. So that's why the bragging comes from. And the bragging stems from a place that you see um, privileged kids also coming out and saying, I did this, I did. You cannot. I understand the fact that society on its own makes it seem like privileged kids eh you cannot amount to anything other than the name that your father has yes god i hate that idea with you cannot because if you are an hotel law if you are an um, adeliki when you your name is already speaking for you wherever yeah, it is yeah. that you are going so people do not see you first they will not see you first they will see the name true so a privileged kid is still somewhere that is trying to fight to make his own name a name and whatever fight is it that they are doing here, if you walk into a room and I walk into a room, your name will open doors for you. My name is just going to have me sitting down there because that is part of advantage. 
advantage is you going going to places and doors just open for you as a result of the privilege that you have yeah. a hustling kid would have to start from the from the barest of all barest minimum you have to you have to start from the ground and prove yourself so that's that proving of themselves them having to work so hard is one of yeah. the places that the, you see that bragging come around don't yeah. tell me don't tell me that you understand but it doesn't it doesn't negate the fact that both hustling and privileged kids are hustling and they are striving for themselves and they are still kids and they are human beings it's just that you know when you when you are when you are, when you are going through things and you hear somebody that eh, you have a uh, six to seven million in your account, so your daddy is going to, you know, wire, wire, wire. You know, they're not going to do wire, wire for you. You're telling me, you're telling me you are doing it. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that it's right. I just feel like it stems from a place of a lot of pain, pain, hurt, yeah, hurt. and possible. I do that. I have the done too is much. much. Yeah, yes. I'm doing and too much. You're not necessarily supposed to do as much, much if as... you had advantage. If a whole lot of us in kids want advantage. Yes, I want advantage. Because if I know that, yes, I just need to finish this and go, mommy and daddy has the next step placed for me. I just need to put my leg on it. It is good. Yeah, it's good. And that is why copy till today or David Doe, people will always still be dragging those names as you guys can do whatever. They will always still downplay whatever efforts. And the fact that you will see them also the way they, the way they, their lifestyle is different. You understand? You are coming from a place of very very premium advantage you can speak the way that you speak you can walk the walk you are walking because of the advantage that you have you just like complaining i'm um, comparing a private school student and a public school student they are getting education valerie yeah we all got education we are getting you are both getting education but the quality yeah the, well the quality is not necessarily the same i'm not talking about uh, english of speaking on the quality of the education the time the education is being delivered the environment these are things that an advantage or privileged child has you are in a public school or in a school that is not the same standard as a privileged kid you are 50 to 70 in the class or even 100. 40. no more they're more than that no i went to public school we used to be like it's just like when i was going to yabatek when i was going to yabatek and i and i ended up in lasso i swear to god the yabatek is a is a, is a privileged university I'm not joking. I was coming from. I felt like, in all honesty, I was coming from a private school because we yeah. never, we never that much in a class. I'm going to a class that's where almost 500 inside the class. They're using microphones to be talking, but not here. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's not yes. And you have to be there. So you are telling me someone that is going to Babcock or even me that I'm coming from Yabatek that we are still calling government. It's it's really it's privilege. Yeah, it's privilege. Yeah, I I, I get. I, the I get quality it, yeah. is always different, and that's why you see that the bragging right comes because some of them they still have to go and teach themselves at home. You, you see, you can talk to your lecturer. Can I come to the office? Yes. Oh, yes. If you don't accept, I'll, I'll explain to yeah. you. Come here. Hey, that, that's luxury. It's luxury all of us are experiencing on this island now. Oh, Jam, I don't understand. Okay, yes, you can come to my office after. We'll just have to break it down. Oh, I'll guide you. You cannot do that in Nigeria University. Let's be real with ourselves. I went to a uni, Ben, and they did not bore you with. You have to have a meeting your lecturer so behind closed door. Com- no, not even closed door. So have a conversation with your lecturer in class. They did not bore you when. How yes, they ask you question, you answer the question and you shut up. <laughs> you cannot, you, you cannot, you opinion. cannot, you cannot, you know how, I don't know, I, I don't know how it works in Near East, but for, for us or for me, I can be teaching in class and my student interrupts me yes. and asks me the most random question. And I can just answer the question and just move on and just say, oh, do you understand? And say, yes, you understand. And I'm like, okay, let's continue and continue. When I was in uni, Ben. They did not want you where to distract your lecturer by asking one question. In fact, you cannot. There was no. There was no. Um. What would I call it? There was no atmosphere for that. So yes, I, I understand it. I get it. Now I am expressing what privilege is. Yeah, just <laughs> like my, privileged people. Eh? In my opinion, and that's why I said in the beginning of this video that I would choose privilege. Yeah, privileged people should own their privilege. Own it. One hundred percent. Own it. Because. Don't the come and of... try to be. Yeah, don't try come to. And... You have to sell the grass to grace. You hear David? They have mentioned one name. What's his name? He, when he was also suffering in Kenya, Kenya, bro. You probably don't have money in your account or whatever it is. You were a child then, but you were not suffering. I think people should own whatever way it is that you are. I saw a video Just of own. Adele, and Adele confidently spoke about the privileges that she had to be Adele and also get to where it is that she is. 
I don't have stories of how my path to success was hard because it wasn't. And I know that's rare and I know I'm lucky. Whew. But that's because of you. A lot of you had to claim your power and you've given me mine. And privilege has never sounded so beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. And appreciated to me. But you see people with privilege, yeah, they just want to maneuver because they know that, you see, when they know that there's money, people don't value people that have money. They don't, they don't respect them. No, let me say value. That's why. The respect yeah, is not respect there the to their person. They res people respect hustle people more. People respect hustle And that's why you constantly see people that are privileged also trying to put that they are hustling. Yes, you are hustling. And that's why we also see people that are hustling that are producing nonsense. But people... <laughs> Talk it, talk it with your preachers. You are producing rubbish. You are singing nonsense. But because you have the story of grass to grace, everybody wants to they sell. To they sell want to sell and, like, like, like and ah, this person gone so far. You don't know this guy. This guy when he also that Spirit. time for. What's yes, that? What's that very, where is that very common place in Lagos? Like, anybody that comes from there has to be. Ajegule. No, no, Ajegule. There's this other one. Ilaje. Korodu. Ikorodu. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Korodu. Everybody must kind of. No, wait. Everybody in Korodu must blow. <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive me. I didn't mean to laugh. Sorry. Yeah, you're, you're not forgiving. You already <laughs> laughed. Sorry for the laugh. But why is it that people who come from a certain part of Nigeria. They need to blow. Even if they are doing nonsense, they just need to blow. Like from a day everybody day. needs to uplift this person to an extent where people think that oh, because they have worked out, oh, they don't suffer because before. Because grass to grace they cells. They suffer before. Like, I have an example, but I don't know if I can say it. But this yeah. guy is singing nonsense. I don't know why everybody is hyping him. He's singing rubbish. And I know the fact that you are hyping this person. The fact that you want to support this person. Who is this say, person? Ah, you say know. it. Say it. We are talking deep talks here. Say it. <laughs> Portable. See, it. yes, it's actually. It's not all the songs that are, but you know when you when you no. when you when you, when you constantly Cancel when you Portable. constantly show yourself to be a foolish person. It is what you will be known as. I don't care. And you show See. yourself to come out, but people want to push See. it because it's also people trying now. He didn't push himself. No, 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 no. He did try. He didn't try. If if he is the Valerie Duan, shout go off and show the first stage. <laughs> if he is the Duan, person will never chop. Well, he can't see me so chop. Okay. And means for people to like if Valerie. Okay. Okay, so, First of so all, my yeah. point is, yeah, see, my point is the fact that a lot of people need to sell that story. Because the story sells. Yeah, I know it sells. Like, that's why a lot of people are gingering hustle, hustle, hustle. People you get, respect hustle. People respect hustle. But uh, respecting hustle at the detriment of what hustle is even supposed to be in the first place. That one, that one's it, a big comment. That, uh, that one day, like... Let's call it spade a spade. But honestly, I would not, in the case of portable, I do not feel that it only... He only brings himself and sings rubbish. He, he has sang certain songs that I am listening to. As see, there are people that sing rubbish. Portable is trying. My sister, Portable is trying. It's just that he has already put himself. He has shown himself most of the times to be very, very, you know, troublesome, very, very even foolish. And in situations where you know what poverty does to a lot of people or people that are hustling. Ah, but I know I don't. You don't know. I'm saying that what it does to certain people is they put themselves in the position of I. Even the hustling mindset is do anything, do anything or and everything, everything. I was about to, to say get that. to where you are. Do anything hustling is not even a good thing. I was about to say hustling that. is not do everything thing. and anything is what is killing a lot of people. Do like, anything and everything, and that's why we have a lot of people representing themselves as things that they are not even supposed to be because it sells. And people would also know that yeah, this person is trying. A lot of people, Nigerians and even people around the world, Africans, Americans, everybody can relate to struggle. Yeah, but not everybody can relate to privilege. I would say it's not everybody can relate to privilege, Valerie. Not everybody. The, the percentage is there. Is not. It is not. It's not matching. It's not matching. It's not, it's not it's matching. Not, yeah. So that's why you see like the the population of the majority always delving towards the grass to grace story because it is beautiful and everybody loves growth. Even people who are privileged, yeah, they try as much as possible to look for. A certain time of their life that can help them portray grass to grace. But honestly, the people that are privileged, they actually do go through their own uh, struggles, their own yeah. struggles, and their but own they, grass to grace. Yeah. But it just it's not, the it's, same. Not, it's not the same. I'm saying that yes, it's not the same. We know it's not the same. But the idea that everybody needs to portray this particular notion or the fact that we need to follow this particular, if you not Perhaps. hustle. Never, um, your your success should not be glorified. It's it not becoming his problem. 
it's not becoming a problem because even somebody like David don't want to come and start saying things like he says um, unreasonable things most of the time things that are so like all of us were not in existence when David started singing or when he came out you see even then they kind of own it they own it sometimes but they just don't want to own it all the time because they know that it's but not every respected he has not he has not I don't, I don't know. He spoke on a podcast like, recently. I f- you know what I'm saying? Like, I met my wife before I had money. Like, before. But I was saying to myself, if I didn't meet her, and like now I was single, and I met a girl, I already know, like... It's not going to be the same. Yeah. I feel like he also has this uh, mentality that he needs to also push some sort of narrative. Because they are like always this, not yeah. valued. Because yeah. no matter how much you work, as a privileged child, or if you have someone that is very big in the picture, whether it is your mother or your father or your great grandfather that has done something substantial, your name is going to be very hard to precede that name. Whatever it is that you do, it's very hard. The other day, I think it was his father that was the town planner or the um, this thing for Banana was, Island. But... but like, there's a particular amount of work you do as a person that even the next generation to come they will struggle yeah true. they will struggle to meet it because some people do so many great things in their lifetimes that whatever it is that their offspring does it would always not be enough and sometimes it's not that it is not enough it's just the fact that these people say that they have to program their mind that see i am my own person and certain things will be a particular because people are people and i am going to be me but they they also judge themselves in that way. Yeah. They judge themselves. If you know that you are coming from privilege, I say it. Please own it. Own it. Own it. That's my whole point. So that yeah. they will not even be a, they won't be a they struggle. Be kata kata. They won't be a you verbal struggle on the internet and everywhere that they are privileged. You are, you are a privileged kid. Own it. You are hustling. Own it. Oh, that was slim self. And that was slim term self. Hustling. Hustling is a problematic. Slick is a problematic term. Problematic term. term. Uh, coming from nothing. What do you want? They will hustle now. You know, in day, in day, they have to hustle. So yes, it's a problematic, pro- problematic, problematic term, term, but people still need to. You still need to hustle, last last. If you don't get, you go work for them. I feel like both parties, privileged I and feel like just, they just need to respect, just respect what they have and be proud of it. With their who's going to beat and you? Nobody. Who will beat you if nobody. you say that you nobody. are privileged or not? Nobody. I, I just feel like a lot of people believe that it matters, but in the real sense, it doesn't matter. Yes, that's why the ultimate, stop, the ultimate is you as a person. Yeah. How you would they feel? stop buying your music or would they stop patronizing it because you don't have um, grass storage? No. So I feel it's individualistic, it's in the mindset. It is. Because a lot it's of people, logic, yeah. a lot of people will still be whiskey FC. A lot of people will still be Davido FC. To be honest, like I feel like people, even these celebrities, can do no wrong in the eyes of their fans. So I just feel like everybody should just rest. I was I, I I listened to a podcast recently where a lot of people were arguing that um, Davido wouldn't have gotten to the place where he is right now if he wasn't privileged. And I'm like, no, he will not. No, I don't believe. He that. will not. I don't. Believe he will that. not. Don't you don't believe, believe that. that. Don't mean that I I should believe it. Let me tell you why. I don't tell me why. That. Yes, we all know that he was privileged and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then he got, let's say he had money, he had the means to record music and stuff like that. But he still did the work. If he wasn't privileged, he would have still put in the effort and even put in extra effort. Okay, so can I say my own one? Yes, don't yes, be... yes, sure. David Lowe would not have gotten to where he is today if he did not have privilege. Valerie, if you remember the very first things that we said when we started this video, it's the fact that Privilege comes with what? Advantage. Advantage breaks down steps. It's just like long cuts and short cuts. David Doe will not have gotten to where he is today if he didn't have privilege. Because the type of... Do you know how many people have been singing? People have been singing for years. It takes so much strength, too much hard work, dedication, consistency. Before maybe one of their songs is not recognized, then they blow up. Then they see managers that will not hire them and um, put them in their label and everything. Before labeling could become any labeling, David already had the means to take the steps that he wants to. Do you know the amount of days whiskey or any other artist stayed in the studio to help them to assist or to do something before they will not say they want to record their own before the song will not enter on club again? I guess I feel like I feel like it will sound it will sound it will sound very very unfair. Okay, yes, it will sound very very unfair because somebody that is only five hundred naira to go to a studio and someone that already has the studio 
access to the studio as a result of whoever he is, whoever I, his I, father I, is, yeah, is very guess, different. They are not, they are not working I the same world. I guess that that helped. I understand it, but I but still feel like... But for him to like... remain who he is, he also played the part. I'm just saying yes. that it's very heavy to not, yeah. to not say that David was privileged got into where he is today i still feel that if he wasn't privileged he would have still been he injured. would not he would not have he would not have added this easy because people will not listen to that you you are making it sound like david song is everything that is is everything that was making sense from the beginning like he did not grow he loved music it showed on the long term because he was he kept on pushing and he kept on making sure that he got to wherever it is i want but where he was coming from what things i started singing and let whiskey sing that or let any other person sing that and see if they will get to where they are getting to without the privilege that he had let us not see it but we cannot do it but we are we are we are already in what in real life check he had the privilege the privilege got him to where it is let him own it the only thing is the fact that it wasn't just only the privilege as i say privileged kids I are it. also hustling it's not only the money he, he could have had the money he could have had the means and everything and still not make sure something out, 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 yes. out of himself That's but true. he chose to the dedication the fact that him too he wanted to become who he is today is one of the things that also put him where he is but it would be very unfair to say that the privilege he had is not what got him to where it is here because if it is going to take a whiskey or a anybody 10 junctions to get to the first stop of people noticing them it just took david one or two because he could walk into rooms that just anybody couldn't walk into we have to be very realistic when we are speaking because these are people's experiences these are these people's life like it's i understand and that's why people with privilege please own it People that are hustling own it, but don't come from a point of uh, you. You are not doing. They are doing. They are just doing the one. It's not up to the one that you are doing because you are you are make, you are doing times two or times three of the work, and they already have the means and the advantage at their own hands. You don't have it. So I feel like both parties respecting each other and where they come from because yeah, it is not the same. It will never be the same. So we can as well deal with it. Die. The animosity should die, but it can only die from what from the start, starting from the individual level. Because it's not like the um, the whole world or people at large just started liking the grass the gray story. People love to see people that start people that. People celebrate so far. You know, I'm celebrate so far. No, let's be true. So people celebrate so far. I I I used to have a friend. <laughs> talk it, talk it. This woman is always fearing to talk what is in her no, mind. I'll say this one. I used to have a friend that 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 said that um, I went to university of Benin, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he went to Benson at outside university. So one day we're having a conversation that had to do with um, um, how we fought that, how we went and then we did masters and all of that. And he said that he went to the UK and obviously I came here. Right. Mm-hmm. So while we're having this conversation, he was like, if he had gone to Uniben, he wouldn't have been able to see that there was more to life hmm. for him to have gone to the UK. And that made me just think, oh, are you saying that because you went to a person that was university, that's why you think that, oh, because of the certain type of life you lived there, that's why you oh, sure that it was okay for you to go to the UK. While right. people, if you're watching this video, your head is not going. Why? No way! Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. I'm going okay, to While people who me, like for example, went who went to uni Ben and then I stayed small, obviously I walked smart, and I said, "Oh, okay, it's time to pursue my um masters." Yeah. And then I came to this island, and then I said, "Pursue my masters." Now, what I'm trying to say is that this conversation that we had, mm-hmm. he was reasoning like that from he coming him understanding that. Oh, he was privileged enough. Yes. And I wasn't. That's why I said in the in the in this tiniest level of animosity needs to die. Sometimes it might not be animosity. I can't be is. speaking from a place that I am, but it might sound disrespectful and insulting. No, it wasn't disrespectful for me. Are. It was it just him sound, downplaying the whole it idea. It might not be of, that he's, he's even downplaying. He's speaking from the place that he is. The place that he is is not where that you are. But like he's just saying so from that place. What I'm saying is that in his head, <laughs> eh? No, no, you don't, don't, don't twist. You know, you know, you know, in your heart of your heart, in the heart that you are, they know that that's what he meant. He meant that. The, but it could the be foundation, just for him, you know. I'm not, I'm not stupid. Okay. The foundation he had was what propelled him to where he was. 
and the foundation i had making is it what seem like you wouldn't have wanted to yes that is the see no matter that's how want, no matter how i want to piece. twist this story or no matter how i want to say oh that's not what he meant oh he meant something else you yourself you know your heart of heart that that's what he meant I oh, yes. oh lord oh that's nice you say. see now how many years like are you holding this thing for now no it's people like you that go out there and you now start having this conversation of privileged kids and all and before I say of privileged kids because this helps me. But exposure and, and privilege yeah. is beautiful. So it's beautiful, yes, but you, you didn't have to come on to me or I've that seen, conversation in the way you did. I feel like Because the these tone, are the same people online that are doing this. I feel like maybe the tone, the tone and the manner in which he said what he said. And again, it depends on where you are at. You know, there are certain things that you would take or you would hear in a particular mindset or wherever it is that you are and you wouldn't budge yeah but in a, in another place or in another dimension it will be aggravating to you mm-hmm. because you'll be like the fuck is it that you're saying yeah so I, I totally understand your point but it's not like i'm even trying to make it seem like um i'm supporting him i don't know this person to begin with i'm you just saying that it could be from the place person. that he it could be from the place that he is saying he not necessarily meaning a particular harm and that is why there's there's this animosity yes because obviously. privileged kids speak the privilege yeah and Austin kids find that like unfair. Like you have it, don't need to be putting it in my and face. Enough, I don't put it in my face. Type like of energy. I feel like I feel like some of them that are projecting this um this mindset mm-hmm. are the ones that are getting it wrong in my opinion. Because you coming on to me like that is not something that I'll just say. Oh, eh, okay, yes, I agree with you. Eh, like you like, wouldn't, get, like yeah. wouldn't aspire. To yeah, you. I would not. I would not think of it like that. It's something of afterthoughts. Uh, like. Why would you? It's so but shallow you, mindedness. It's because yeah. he's, he's seeing you where it is that he thinks that you are, without knowing full well who it is that you are, where it is that you are coming from. I just want to say that, that you if you come aspire to video, more, I just want to. <laughs> you couldn't aspire to the abroad. Like the abroad is something to aspire to. Honestly, I just want to tell you that I went to uni bed. I know. I still did my masters. I still did my PhD. Go oh, girl. Fuck you. And okay. I and I rotting my. We don't we don't support violence. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I think I think we can wrap this conversation like this. Anyways, well, I'm just for me. I just feel like this conversation needs to die. Everybody puts in the work. Everybody should be appreciated with the work. Everybody. Whether you been get or you know get or you get before you know can't get again. Whatever <laughs> it is. No, I'm supposed to say that I get them before love the party things like that. There are different different ways people view this um privilege and, and yeah so yes i am privileged and i put in the work yes i am not privileged i also put in the work but that does not mean that the person went hustle and the person when um get privileged they didn't put in the work i just need people to understand i feel like that. empathy makes it yeah. easier a lot of people don't know how to speak and i feel like it's the way that you address people something think or the way you just talk. dish it up it, that it makes it makes it seem like would i say rude or unfair to the part of the hustling kids because if it's gonna take me two steps and it's gonna take you 20 Just whatever up, I, yeah. whatever it is that i will say i don't really think that you have you have been through what that person has been through and um, even for the hustling kids it's not like they also have it easier their parents just hand out money to yes. them yes so yes, yeah. like you or their parents just hand it down to them it's not that easy they go yeah. through a whole lot but the thing is at the end of the day they tell you don't you know, just get what you want you get what you want do you understand but you cannot still measure it and comparison is the thief of joy for me yes. comparison is the thief of joy and this struggle that all of us let's are living and this life leave. yes and also, like, there should be respect when you're speaking about your experience. Not just respect, authenticity. That's why I said, if you're coming from privilege, speak from the place that you're coming with your full chest and not try to water it down so that the privileged yes, kids can yeah. also see that you also struggled a little. Baby, you didn't struggle. Deal with it. I am struggling. I will deal with it too. So let all of us deal with it and let us have peace. You, you are understand? privileged though. Deal with your same <laughs> kids. You are hustling, no deal with privileged kids. Let us live and let's live. Like all these um period. All these you didn't put in the work as I put in shut up. There's no Empathy, need. Like, there's no need. If somebody has gotten there, clap for the person. Period. Don't come and say, oh no, papa give her money when you used to reach that place. There's no need. They he got, got there, he got there. Yes, he got there, he got there. Or you that hustle that you got there. People um privilege gives you know something. Oh, it took you this long to get or oh, you slept your way to get uh, or it's like there are a lot of them that will be like, oh, I've gotten here since now, now you're rich. You know this kind of mentality? No. Yeah. Everybody got there. Everybody achieved something. Just 
clap for the person and let's just our move means on. and our methods okay? are not the and same. Not the same, yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, like, not everyone has the same story. Like not everybody will have path. the same story like or the same path. path. So because we don't have the same story and we don't have the same path, just leave everybody. Let them Look, let them, they pin your let them do their own. Eh? I said, look, he just kind of pains the Oslinky that the privileged children have privilege and they don't have privilege. It's also paining some um, privileged kids too that some Oslinky kids go to where they are without help. True! That's another That's thing. That's where that guy was coming from. True, true. That's where that because conversation Because if I can walk from. this walk, you're not supposed yes. to walk the walk. You're not supposed yes. to reach there. They, also come, reach from that, there. they also come from that aspect this, this, that, this, this, ah, why will you be yes, there? Why will you be there? Because... That, I, I don't because think, that thing is only for me and my family. I don't think you understood the conversation I was telling you about. That I was where that guy was coming from. Me, I just saw it from the fact that he's speaking from wherever. I no. didn't take it. You see that? You see that? As I said that. See, it, it depends on where you are. He at. was coming if from a still, place of. He was coming from a place of. Oh. You have rich here. Me, I did not I did not sense it that way. Do you understand? Even if he said it to me. Now you go private school now. Hey, but you know me now. You know me. So also, the fact that yes, we're hammering on um, 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 hustling kids, getting somewhere, yada, yada, yada. At the same time, the privileged kids who are also like, oh, okay. You shouldn't be here. Like You shouldn't be here. Or took you long enough. You know, or you don't fit in. Or you don't vibe. fit in. Or yeah. this is not where, this is not where you be. should be. This is I my guess. space. So, if we flog this one, we flog this one too. True. Yeah. True. That's not. I think we've rested our case. Like every of you, case. like own your also and own your privilege with your food chest, and don't try to water down each other because at the end of the day, we are all. We are all what going through whatever it is that we're going through in this life. This life thing, we're all life in it. We're all life in it. We're all life in it. We, in it. So we, we should just respect each other's nice process. And, and that respect goes both ways. And I think we can end this conversation. Both ways. Way. Both ways, I tell you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us today and listening to this episode of the podcast. I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsor, Let's Laundry Magusa. Please wash your clothes with them because they do have a very 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 nice service and our podcast can be viewed from jushanti productions youtube channel thank you and see you in another episode peace bye i think it was so chic the way i said peace <laughs> like the peace was supposed to bring the peace between the hustling kids and <laughs> <laughs> like my yes. talk or our talk yes. just yes. solves the problem. It just I feel like it kind of just gives it gives it gives perspectives to where like, well, does not mean it's going to solve the problem. If people like push you financially yourself, you know. No, it concerns also because, but, but is that the reason we are doing deep talks, thinkable thoughts? Well we're finished now, we've caught Ah Alima This woman will not respect yourself. If you put this particular clip inside, me and you will get problem. I know she likes violence, so she's quiet. So the way she's looking at us like like fish in the bone movie. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. I saw you. <laughs> <laughs>